Hi, I'm Adam from DoDonaDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool audio waveform background which reacts to my voice and any other kind of music that you put in the background of your After Effects project. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I made that. First of all, we're going to start a new composition. It's the new composition button. I'll call this Audio Spectrum 1 because I've already got an audio spectrum. And first thing we're going to need is some audio and I'm just going to use this video clip this is the one of me on the green screen just then we don't need to be able to see it and this is only going to be used for the basic audio now we're going to create a new solid that'll do and we're going to apply an effect called audio spectrum surprisingly enough and you can see these dots in the middle of the screen they are they will be the bars of the audio spectrum when we link it up to the audio now to link it up to the audio we just go over to the effects panel over here and it says audio layer and you can select the clip and if we just scroll along you can see it changing I'm just going to change the size of this composition I think there we go and it doesn't look terribly impressive at the minute so what we're going to do is we're going to up the maximum height and try and get a bit of a better result. It's a bit better. As you can see the basic waveform there. What I usually do is I'm going to change the end frequency to around a thousand. And I'm going to duplicate the layer by pressing Control D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the start frequency to a thousand and change the end frequency to one thousand five hundred. And I'm going to duplicate it again. Change the start frequency to one thousand five hundred and the end frequency to two thousand. I'm going to make all of these layers 3D. I'm going to take the, this layer, I'm just going to take the position and I'm going to move it back a bit. And I'm going to take this layer with the position and I'm going to move it forward. Just so that they don't overlap completely, otherwise you won't be able to tell that there's any difference. And now, I have this nice sort of filled out audio waveform. Let's make it a bit more interesting to look at. Um, if we go to the hue interpolation, I'm going to change that to around 203. I should have probably done this before I duplicated them all for quickness, but I didn't. And now they're multicolored, which is a bit of a random kind of thing, except later on when we blend it, it'll make them different shades of the color that we want. So that's why we do that. Now I'm going to create another composition out of this composition, I'm just going to drag this down there and I'm going to call this one I'm going to name it BN, no name this one background and as you can see it already has the audio spectrum composition in it. I'm going to now create another layer another solid layer Let's drag this down here and I'm going to add two effects to this layer. I'm going to add one called Grid. Which as we can see just adds a grid which isn't terribly inspiring at the minute. But I'm going to then add another effect called Bulge. That's the one. Which will distort the grid shape. What I like to do is try to make this as big as possible. And I'm going to set the height to minus one. So it bulges in instead of out. I'm going to adjust this a bit. And then I'm going to make this 3D layer. 
and I'm going to bring it forward so that we get this kind of bulged grid and it makes it look sort of 3D. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer, another solid, and that'll do. And I'm going to drag this down here and I'm going to add an effect called ramp. Now what ramp does is pretty much what it says. It creates a ramp from one colour to another colour. But I'm going to change it from linear to radial. I'm going to drag this down here. I'm going to take the end point and I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to change the colours. Not fantastic, but it will suffice. And then I'm going to go to this layer with the grid on it. I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. And it just blends a bit nicer with the background colours. Next thing I need to do is go back into audio spectrum and we need to change the blend mode of the audio waveforms to multiply. So when we go back, and now we're going to change this also to multiply. And then it just looks a bit neater. This isn't actually the exact colours from the previous example that I gave because I'm terrible at choosing colours, but that's not important. That's to taste and that's for you to decide. I have just shown you how to make the really cool audio background though. I'm doing a drum, and I've just shown you how to make a really cool audio background.